We were in Gothenburg going to meet Volvo for the very first time and we got so lost. How is it that a company that spends its entire focus on locating stuff can't find itself? <laughs> Imagine your car coming off an assembly line. It comes off the assembly line and for whatever reason the windshield wipers weren't there when your car was being built. They take your car off the line and they put it in a parking lot with 3,000 other cars that look exactly the same. We put a device that looks like a hockey puck onto the car and then the windshield wiper shows up. They can pull up a map on their computer and know exactly where it is in that parking lot. Our find came about in a very strange way. At the time I was just starting my final stages of my MBA. So I put together a business plan as my final project and I sent it out to a lot of people and asked them to please review it, give me some feedback. And somebody sent me a check. And at that point, I was, I was sunk. I had to do it. The largest obstacle that you have to overcome if you want to be an entrepreneur is actually balancing your life. And that's across the board. I get into the office very early in the morning. 5.30 is when I'm done. I'm not allowed to take my computer home. I'm not allowed to take my work home. Community Futures has a lot of underlying support services that we can draw upon. We were able to take Community Futures funding and have it matched by several other investors. So we were able to take their funds and uh, double and triple it over time. I think what makes me most proud is the fact that everybody in the company sees what can be done. And when they talk about our products and when they talk about our company and when they talk about each other, there's a smile on their face. And that makes me feel good. <laughs>